Hey everybody, Michael Stoops back here in the McGuire's training garage for another installment of Shop Talk. And today I've got a very special guest with me. Bricklin, you are the lead product developer yep. dude for the product we're gonna talk about today, which is yep. hybrid paint coating. That's the one. Uh, paint coating, but yep. it doesn't say ceramic anywhere. It says it's hybrid polysiloxane. Why doesn't it yep. say ceramic? There is no ceramic in the product, so we don't say ceramic. But it's a paint coating. It's a coating without ceramic, yeah. Okay, so you're used to SiO2 ceramic coating. Yep. How, how is this a coating if there's no ceramic in it and what, what does all that mean to, so, to these guys? So technically if it's a coating, okay. there is a measurable thickness on the paint surface that lasts. You can actually measure this amount is on the surface of the car. As opposed to a wax or a synthetic sealant yep. where... It'll be on the surface, you'll see the effects of wax, the protection, the beading, Okay. but you can't measure the thickness on the surface with the traditional car wax. Okay, but with this you can? Yes. With this, in fact, we know that while the product was being developed and we're playing around with it here as we're getting to know it ourselves, if we lay a tape line down, mm -hmm. we apply this product to you know, half of the hood of the car, yep. um, and then we let it cure, featuring True cure cross-linking. Let's get to that in a minute, okay. Bricklin. But when we let it cure, we pull that tape line. You can actually feel yeah. the ridge of it. It, it, it. There's that kind of. You will see a difference. You will feel the difference, for sure. So it it, it has that mm -hmm. that that's okay yep. without ceramic. It's correct. What talk, tell 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 them about this true cure cross-linking technology. What's this all about? So the way that this product works is once you've applied it to the paint surface. Okay. It will bond, cure to itself, mm -hmm. and to the paint at the same time. It takes longer to cure, to bond together into the surface, okay. and that make, gives it that durability. So we've got a measurable film thickness of a chemical, yep. basically, this mm -hmm. hybrid polysiloxane. We'll get to that in a second. Yep. A measurable film thickness of something that cross-links to bond to itself mm -hmm. slowly and very tenaciously, mm -hmm. and then also grabs onto the paint yep. with that much more ferocity, right? right? Yep. It grabs on. So you've got more of it there. It doesn't break apart. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more resistant to yep. exfoliation, I think you guys like to call it, rubbing it with a towel and stuff. Weather, chemicals. Everything that a car could get exposed to, this will be more tenacious, like you said, in bonding and protecting. Chemicals. Yep. Acid rain? Yeah. Alkaline washes? Yep. Absolutely. Like how, how, how extreme are we talking about here? Extreme. I mean, we've used the washes, we've used the wheel cleaners, we've used chemical cleaners. You've used wheel cleaners? Yep. On, so sure. our Hot Room's chrome wheel cleaner has a pH of like 3.5. It's very acidic. Right. And the Hot Room's wheel and tire cleaner is very alkaline. Yep. So what you're saying then is that that measurable film thickness, right, the, the, the sheer volume of this that, that is on the paint. Super thin, yes. but it's there. Yes, Su absolutely. Super thin relative to... The average Joe. Yeah, but, but relative yep. to a wax or a sealant, absolutely. there's a lot of it there. Because now we can actually measure it. Yep. And the way it bonds to itself, cross yep. links and holds on so tenaciously, and also to the paint, yep. that gives us great durability. I mean, there's a lot of it and it holds on really tight. It's resistant mm -hmm. to some exfoliation, that, that wiping it with a towel kind of thing that yep. would break down lesser waxes and sealants and stuff like that over time. So we're not talking about a ceramic coating, we're talking right. about a hybrid polysiloxane yep. coating. Now this is where the chemistry comes into play here and that's why you and this, this team that we have mm -hmm. that develop these products yep. are so good at what you do because chemists that are doing crazy stuff here. Right, luckily we have, as you know, an incredible team of chemists yes. that we can give a challenge to, come up with a product that a consumer can use, okay. that will be a coating that they've heard about, okay. that will give you incredible protection, but it's something you don't need to do with like an installer. We can offer this to a regular consumer. Okay. So you can get all the benefits of a ceramic coating. And here's where the chemistry comes into play because ceramic, that SiO2 thing that everybody's so used to hearing about, 
um, and this doesn't have it, polysiloxanes, basic silicones, mm -hmm. and SiO2, mm -hmm. from a chemical standpoint, they're all pretty closely related to each other. But now we're able to put this into a package mm -hmm. that anybody can purchase and use themselves at home yep. and get what? That incredible water beading, yep. that film thickness, that durability, yeah. all of that stuff in a very easy to apply package. Yeah, we, when we give the challenge to the chemists, we don't say you have to use this. We say, here's the goal. Create something that's easy, okay. that's long lasting, that gives you great protection. They go away into the lab. They play with their chemicals in their little toolbox and they come out and we go, oh, that doesn't have ceramic in it. And then they'll tell us, proof's in the pudding, right? Use okay. it, test it. We'll show you what we've thrown up against it. That's why we've done this. Okay, all right. So why, why have you done this? It's an aerosol. Yep. I, who's got coatings in an aerosol? This is a little unique. We wanted it to be easier to use than a traditional coating. Usually it's the liquid and you gotta spread it. It's, it takes some technique, okay. experience, training sometimes. By putting it into an aerosol, it's easy to apply to the pad. This, this is just our, our yep. even coat microfiber, microfiber applicator. Pad. Yep. Simple as that. That's it. And it spreads real well. So it's, we tailored it for, again, if someone is interested in coating their car, they're willing to invest some time, read the instructions, do their, a little bit of homework, this is an easy way to apply a coating. It's not all that terribly different really from applying a liquid wax or synthetic sealant. All right, Brickland, with this one can, mm -hmm. I can do the whole car? We've given you enough to do, no matter the size of your vehicle, at least two coats. A full-size SUV, I can do yeah. two coats with the one can. That's correct. And enough for touch-ups in case I missed a spot or I'm not? Okay. Most likely have a little bit left okay. over to do that. All yeah. right. That's, that's, that's pretty fantastic. Enough to do two coats, uh, two coats. Yep. Do I need to wait between, do they need to wait between if, coats? If you want to do a second coat after the initial coat, mm -hmm. just to make sure you haven't missed any spots, we would recommend wait an hour and then you can do the process again. Okay. And that'll just ensure you have even coverage everywhere. I mean, we've got this aerosol just to, I'm, I'm going to yep, go, go for a little it. bit, just to, I'm not actually doing this. We're prime the pad a little bit with the product at first, but then we're literally just, I mean, that kind of looks like the way you'd apply a wax to a car. I mean, a lot of people do it in a circular motion, yep. but then we're going to cross hatch this and go back and forth. That's it. Small section, just like you did. Make sure you're covering the area. Okay. We recommend the cross hatch to make sure you've gone back and hit everything. Now it's, and I let you've it, applied it. I let it dry till it cures and hazes over, right? Nope, that no, would be a traditional <laughs> wax. If you do that, you're gonna be waiting for a very long time. Yeah, yeah it's not gonna happen. It's so not gonna happen. So don't sit around and wait. Yeah, this, Apply it, the directions on yeah, the box, just the, follow them. This is not these your, guys work hard. Yeah, this is that. not your grandfather's paste wax, right? right? This, it's at this point, ready to wipe off. And that wipe off process, this can feel a little stickier maybe. That's gonna be a strong you, word you compared will, to a traditional wax. You'll feel the film yes. as you're buffing it off. You'll do its thing. You don't need to put a lot of pressure no. in it. It's not no. like you're wiping away a you know paste wax from the 80s where you're gonna get a, a workout from it. You're wiping off the film. And it doesn't necessarily just wipe off like that. You're gonna work. Cover the area, yeah. And be oh, thorough with wipe it wiping it a off. few times, yep. flip that towel. Look, we give yep. you, I mean, this kit is really, really inclusive. Yeah, so I mean, it, it comes with the coating. It comes with two towels, which we recommend for the coating removal. Okay. It comes with our M122 prep that you will use before you apply the coating. I wanna to dive it. a little deeper into the prep in yep. just a minute, but continue on. That'll make sure there's nothing on the surface. Okay. And it'll allow you to have the best of bonding because the paint is clean and clear. So when it comes to the towels, yep. now we've talked about this for, for years here at Meguiar's is, is proper towel management. This, yep. no. that, that's really not how you use a microfiber yep. towel. With this, it's even more critical, right? Yep. So we wanna fold that towel in half, fold it in half again. This gives you eight unique sides right. to your towel. Right? Absolutely. So as you're doing that initial wipe and you're starting to feel a little bit of the drag, but you can see it starting to come off the paint surface. Mm -hmm. And when it's getting close and it's almost gone, flip the towel. Yeah, they're do a final little wipe. You don't have to get in and buff yep. hard. It's 
You're not working hard That's doing right. this. That's right. Okay. Yep. And you're going to work around those eight sides of that towel. We give you the second towel. Yep. What do you do with all this, the towels and the applicator when you're done with this process? The way the coating works is it, it'll get onto the microfiber surface. Mm -hmm. It'll become extremely hydrophobic because the product's extremely hydrophobic. So the water's gonna run off the towel. It, it won't become absorbent anymore okay. because you have this coating on the surface. That can either be disposed of okay. or put in your you know, junk towel pile for, for general cleaning. Okay. Don't use it on paint. Anymore. Don't use it on paint after yeah. that because yep. the coating is okay. Yep. All right. Applications easy, mm -hmm. but to get really the best performance out of the product, just like you would with any wax or sealant, you want to make sure that you prep that paint properly yep. to begin with. Yep. What do you really need to do? Anyone that's watched any of our training videos mm -hmm. can walk you through the steps on how to prep car paint. Right. So it's the same thing. You'd always want to wash the vehicle, make sure it's clean, feel it. Mm -hmm. If it's not smooth to the touch, as right. smooth as glass, you're going to clay it. That sounds very smooth as this, I'm not this, hearing this a thing. It feels really smooth. Yeah. There's nothing going on here, right? Once you've clayed the car, compound, make sure they're, you know, the swirls, the light scratches, right. the paint is prepped, looks great. Once you've done that, that's where the M122 right. comes into effect. Make sure there's none of the oils from polishing or compounding. You have the clear surface, then that's when you go with the coating. What we want to do is, what you want to do really, is get that paint looking as good as you can possibly get it, yep. or as good as you want it to be. This is all kind of a personal thing here. How good you want your car to look. What you are satisfied with is really what's important, because we, we all have different wants, desires, and needs when it yep. comes to this kind of thing. The more work you put in beforehand, yes. the clear, the paint finish is mm -hmm. will allow for better bonding, right? Which will give you better durability, especially if you've got the bonded contaminants that make the paint feel yep. rough to the touch, right? Absolutely. You've got, I mean, that's industrial fallout. Yep. You've got road grime and all the stuff that's stuck to the paint. Right. The product is designed to really attach itself, grab to onto paint. paint. Yes. So if you, at the very least, you want to clay the vehicle to get rid of. Yep. that those above surface bonded contaminants so that this can get down to the paint and hang yep. on to it yep. to give it the really good durability because you didn't make this to bond to dirt. Exactly. Right. It's, it, it, it's like life, right? The more you work you put into it, the better off the result is. We tell you we want this thing to really do its cross-linking magic Okay. one week. A week? One week. And that's a lot of coatings require a longer cure time. This okay. is not a traditional wax. What will happen is over time, that bond will continue to happen. We've even seen it as we're testing, day two or three after you've applied it, mm -hmm. we've hit it with water, you see the bead, and it's you know a crazy hydrophobic bead. A couple days later, it's even a bigger bead, more resistant. So when you put this on your car, if you want to test how effectively it beads water, don't apply it in the morning and get it wet in the afternoon to see how it beats. No, no, no. You, you want to make sure the car is in an area or it's the time of day mm -hmm. that it's not going to get wet. You're not going to do this coating and then afterwards hit it with a detailer. You want to just let it cure Okay. by itself. 24 hours before it gets wet. I mean, you, you apply it, you, you have to drive your car. You got to go someplace. Right? You know, you can go okay. about your life, but we want this thing to work its magic like a coating. Again, okay. this isn't a traditional wax. Just because there's no ceramic in it doesn't mean it's not a coating, but it still has right. a lot of the same behaviors because the polysiloxanes yep. Yep. and the SiO2 are so closely you, related. You gotta kind of let it do same. its magic, basically. Okay. And it takes a cure time to do that for okay. coating. All right, so you'll actually see the beading improve as that cross-linking and curing Absolutely. goes through its course. Yep. Cool. So for those of you that are used to applying your waxes and synthetic sealants with a DA polisher, um, don't, don't try it with this one, okay? We are leaving behind a measurable film thickness and in order to do that, we want this very methodical cross-hatch application. That's the only part that really kind of deviates from how you're used to applying a wax or sealant. But that ensures that you get that nice uniform coating so that you get that uniform performance across the vehicle. So no DA, hand application, super, super easy. Yeah. So after hand application yep. and the full cure time, mm -hmm. 
what can they expect durability wise from the hybrid paint coating? This would give you over a year. Over a year? Over a year. Yep. Okay. So with that simple application, mm -hmm. you're going to get a year's worth, right. more than a year's worth of durability. Yep. The water beating, the self cleaning characteristics, the ease of maintenance, right. all of that yep. with one simple application. That's pretty fantastic. And that's the benefit of a coating over, let's say, a traditional wax. Perfect. Wonderful. Cool. You know, Bricklin, as you're talking about applying this kind of mm -hmm. straight line, this back and forth cross hatch kind of pattern, but invariably when people are applying waxes and whatnot, you're right. doing this by hand, uh, they get a little bit of it, they wipe onto yep. the plastic trim mm -hmm. or something. Are we gonna stain trim if we get this on here? What do you what do you do? No, I mean this is designed for paint, but if you get the overspray on trim, you wipe it off, you're good to go. Don't okay. need to sell the car. It's not damaged. Okay. Just it's wipe not, it, it won't gonna, hurt the surface. It's not gonna stain nope. plastic trim, anything like all. that. Yep. So you just said it's designed for paint. Yep. So we don't really want people using that glass on the plastic trim. And no, like it, it's not designed for it, so it won't give you the same effect as it would for the automotive paint. Okay. So stick to the paint. If you get some overspray, you wipe somewhere, clean towel, wipe it off, keep going. It's yeah, that easy. Because we, we talked about chemistry earlier. The chemistry of getting something to attach to glass is really different than getting it to attach to paint. Completely different surface, yes. hardness. It's it's a different animal, yeah, for sure. So something that's really designed for paint yep. is, should be used on paint, yep. not on glass, because they, right. they just don't exactly. behave. It's not going to hurt anything, no. but it's not going to give you the performance that you might be expecting. Right, okay. exactly. Then what do you have to do to maintain it properly? We're gonna, no, we, we, that's a great question. We recommend our hybrid ceramic, the detailer. Mm -hmm. We have the spray wax that you use when the you're washing. The hybrid ceramic yep. spray, okay. And then uh, hybrid ceramic wash and wax is okay. also a great maintenance tool. Okay. That's really all you need. I mean, you, you bought the coating for the co coating to perform. Ah, that's, you bought the coating for the coating to yep. perform. And that's that incredible water beading, those the really high contact angles right. that makes those beads of water look yep. almost like ball bearings of water yeah. on the surface. It makes the vehicle almost self-cleaning. Right. right? When, when you drive that vehicle yep. when it's raining and that car is in motion, that, that rain just gets blown right off the car and it yep. kind of takes a lot of the dirt with it. You it want to maintain that water beading so if you yep. put something else on top of it that does not be like that, right. that last product that you put on is going to give you that surface characteristic and right. you may actually mask some of the beading. Correct. Which is why yep. Brickland is recommending, why yep. we are recommending mm -hmm. uh, using the hybrid ceramic detail spray, the hybrid ceramic spray wax, and the hybrid ceramic wash, wash and wax yep. so that you're not putting something on top of this coating that could mask or, or, or hide down some right. of that. That's that exactly right. Yep. Simple as that. That's it. Okay, you don't need to, nor do you really want to, put a wax on top of it. Right. Okay. Yeah, you bought it for the coating. You bought it for the coating. Not for the coating with the, the wax. The coating is the paint protection. That's exactly okay. right. And, and we've, we've had people for years come to us, I put a sealant on my car, now what wax do I need? Right. And you don't because they both are intended yeah. to do the same thing, as is this, just to a much higher level. Right, exactly. I mean, and I get it. I think we're all certainly at McGuire's when you love your car, you do something to it. You just want to keep doing feeling. it. It's, you, that, yeah. it's the male yoga, right? It, it's this is my workout. This is what I enjoy. For this one, do the coating, let it cure. Easy maintenance really just keeps it looking great and maintaining and performing its best. Sounds amazingly simple. It is. It's super proud of the lab with this one. I mean, they really created a product that takes that professional technology that they've people have read about or seen about mm -hmm. or heard about and make it so that anyone can do it. So it takes that coding technology, the coding yep. behavior, the coding characteristics, right. without the struggle sometimes of applying. Because a lot of coatings, if you don't wipe them off soon enough, right. they, they start to, yeah. they, they set up pretty quickly. You sure. get high spots, you have to compound it off, start all over again, and you basically- We've heard the horror coding. stories of right. uh, coatings that have been put on improperly, how difficult it is to remove. We, we had to take all those aspects out of it where it's, you know, here's what you need to do, here's how you do it, go for it. It sounds hard enough to make a coating to, to give you all the characteristics and the performance that right. you're looking for, but then to actually make it that easy to apply, right. that, that's that the, sounds like a pretty that's neat the magic, really, trick right to, in there in itself. It. Yeah, absolutely. So now you can get at home yourself all those benefits and characteristics of a coating and the protection on your paint 
and something that's that easy to apply, yep, that's right. it's, it's almost almost like waxing your car, mm -hmm. but you end up with a measurable film thickness Absolutely. and a coating that's chemical resistant, yep. that incredible water beading, almost self-cleaning, yep. super, uh, washing, a car, washing a car with a coating on it right. is an absolute delight. It, yeah. it cleans so easily, it dries off yep. so much easier, it stays cleaner, it looks great. It makes taking care of the car just easier in every aspect, the outside of it. Once a coating's on there and it's it's on there, the washing, the drying, everything. And part of what Meguiar's has been, been doing with, with the way we've been training mm -hmm. people for years is to help you make it easier to take care of your car. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people try to overcomplicate it, right. right? They think if you're not putting in a ton of yep. work, how good can the result be? Right. And we've been teaching people for years how to make it easier to take care of your car. Right. And this kind of takes that almost to a new level, doesn't it? If I can do it, anyone can do it. That's that's the test at McGuire's. Bricklin can use it, <laughs> anyone can use it. Because yeah. you're a product developer, not a detailer. Right. So Bricklin, I think to summarize, we're talking here about a paint coating that is so easy and forgiving to yep. use that you don't need to be a certified installer to apply it, which means it should be pretty readily available, which leads to this question, where do you get it? Any of the automobile retail stores will be carrying it on the shelves and then online. Well, won't be difficult to find. Simple as that. Simple as that. A anywhere you normally shop for our products, yep. for the most part, you can find it. For the most part, it'll be there. Fantastic. Brooklyn, thanks again for being here with me today on Shop Talk. Thank you. And thanks to you and the team for putting together this amazing product that's going to let all of you get a really simple and easy introduction to putting a true coating on your car to give you that durability, that measurable film thickness, that incredible water beading with virtually self-cleaning characteristics on the paint. If you have any questions about this product or anything else, you can reach us at our Solutions Hub. Phone number's on the back of every bottle of product that we make. Look, you're probably already watching this on YouTube. We've got all kinds of videos in our library here on YouTube. Spend some time perusing those. You can learn how to do all the prep work that we talked about earlier. Otherwise, we're on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. We're all over the place with all kinds of training information. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Shop Talk, and look forward to seeing you again really soon.